from London, where you shouldn't spend more than 20 pounds on a date. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Get over there! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's like is 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. Robert, on Like Us 101, hello. Hello. Hey, Tom, I have a question for you. I met a girl through some friends of mine, and, uh, well, we started going out, and we really hit it off, and it went pretty good, but then she lied about her age, and I'm 20 years old, and she told me she was 15. Now, my question for you, you know, being the man that you are, and I, and I love your program, I was just wondering what kind of advice you can offer me about this Run. Situation. Run? Run. <laughs> but the parents are okay with that. I mean, we haven't had, you know, intercourse. We haven't had sex. There, the parents, the you haven't parents, had sex? No, not yet. Then don't. And um, <clears throat> the parents are fine with it. The mom's okay with it. And I don't care. The parents are fine with it now. But let me promise you, if you break up with her later, they will call the police. There we go. That's all he needed to hear. The word police. That's it. Unbelievable. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I've got a, a frozen screen here, so if somebody could pick up line two and let's talk to Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. What's going on? Well, I uh, first off, I'm a first-time caller, long-time listener. Love the program. think you're a genius. Thank you. Um, I'll get quick to my question because I know... Uh, you hate when people just talk and don't ask a question. Uh, because my they're question just killing is, time uh, like you are. Yeah, like me. Uh, so my question is, I got a kid, so I guess that's strike one. I live with a girl, so that's strike two. But I don't feel like a failure. I, don't, I, know, I know I'm not listening to, to Like It's 101, but I, don't, I feel like I kind of put my girl in check in the beginning of our relationship. And I feel like having a kid is okay with me. I'm 28. Um, so I'm not 20 getting married and having a kid, but I'm not waiting to out of my 20s, which I know is what your thing is. And I'm just trying to figure out, is there some way that people in their 20s can have a kid so that you can have a kid like you're young, like when you're young, like me, so they that shouldn't. I can enjoy it, they shouldn't. but at the same time, not be a chump? Not be, they sh they you know. shouldn't do it. You did it already. You can't put the genie back in the bottle, but people shouldn't do that. I hear it because it's because you think it's such a small chance that it'll happen because i listen to your show and i no, i because people should have fun for as long as they can i, I still feel like i have fun though i feel like I, no I mean, no women, having that uh, you the kind of fun i'm talking about is having sex with as many women as possible and dr going out drinking with your buddies and uh, traveling all around the world here we are this summer i've been in london paris rome Biarritz, tuscany how much traveling are you doing? Uh, I did a. I mastered my domain this summer. That's about it. There we go. And that's what I'm talking about, pal. Uh, you should be here, by the way. Hundreds of thousands of students and other young people from around the world are here right now in London, where we are. But and, I, and you, I, do, I mean, you, I'm, I'm no, you I'm can't. Taking trip, I'm taking no, a trip this, you can't. This winter to Europe with with a couple of my friends, just just the bachelors, and it's one of the things that. I feel like it's really difficult to change the, the ground rules for a relationship, like, once you're in it. But when I got with my wife, like, one of the things that I told her... Is she her? Wait, wait, I stop. I want to be able to stop. have sex with other stop. women I Stop. To. I want to stop. go out. Stop. 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 Is she your wife or a girlfriend? 
girlfriend. But uh, we we didn't do a, a legal a legal thing, but we did like a, we exchanged vows. We don't believe if, in the. If in you the, call the her your wife and things don't work out, there's the possibility, depending on what state you get a divorce in, that she could sue and say, "Guess what? I am the wife because he presented me as a wife." Right. You don't want to call her your wife to anybody, not to me and not to anybody. Okay. So so my girl so my girlfriend, um I one of the things that I was really clear with when I was getting into the relationship is that I don't necessarily like my take, I know like most people don't believe this, but I don't feel like just being in a relationship or settling down means that that's the only partner that you're ever gonna have. I don't know where people get this idea. Well, then why, from, why do you need a relationship? Well, because I, I do think it's important. Because you kids. knocked her up. That's why. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's important for a kid. Tell to the have... truth. You knocked her up. And if you hadn't knocked her up, you'd have been through a hundred other women by now. But you knocked her up. Honestly, it was it was actually kind of planned. Like I, I was I I found I why enough money to afford a kid. And I that's I just not the only issue. Field. All right. Well, you know, you did it already. But I, I'm not recommending what you did to anybody. Anyway, I have um. I don't know. I just, I just feel like if you, if you, if you set up ground rules going in, you can make your relationship a lot more enjoyable. And no, I think that I, that's... I, there's no point. If you need to bang other chicks, you do not need to be in a relationship. It's that simple. So do you feel like you can't have a kid? Like basically, having kids is under no circumstance. I just feel like having a kid is like made my life like happier. Like wonderful. Like well, cool I, I'll tell you what. I've spent uh, seven weeks in Europe this summer, and you were uh, home. Um, uh, <laughs> the pound of the old pud there, pal. Uh, Tommy. Um, well, I don't know, because I feel like... I didn't have to ask Mommy for permission. Can I go with the guys to Europe? I don't I have to, permission. I didn't have to find oh, a babysitter. I didn't have to find a babysitter. You don't have to ask for permission. Just, just I, like, I mean, I know some people do, but I don't. Oh, yeah? I bet if we called her right now, she'd tell me you, you asked her if it was okay. Okay for what? To go to To go to Europe? Without her. Believe it or not, I can give you the number off the air right now. You can call her. All right, her. good. I'm going to call her right now. Dean, take care of that. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Sue on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Good. You know, I've been listening to you for a long time. My husband loves you. I think you're the best. But I just have one personal question to ask you. Is it okay? Sure. Did you really actually mean when you said all men get burnt? Or were you yes. saying in general? You're saying that. Do you think All men have been burnt, yes. Was your father burnt? I don't know. I'm assuming he was. He's a man. So you think your mom burnt your dad? You know, again, you're not, now you are saying something I didn't say. Okay, no. Uh, that, fair enough. But all, all men, men have burned. been burned. Okay. I didn't say all men have been burned by every woman they've ever come in contact with. I never said that. You assume that. I'm asking you, do you think your dad... All men, he, he, I don't know if he's burned by my mom, because at least he was married when she got pregnant. Okay, fair enough. But, anyway, but, but... But, just, but, but, oh, but, he's a man, and my dad was a man, and I'm sure he was burned by somebody. Did their marriage last, or did they get divorced, or what? Their, their marriage lasted, but they got married half a century ago. Yeah, like my parents. I was raised by, like, an Aussie and Harriet. So That some... was a different era, and nowadays it's different, and therefore you can't apply the rules for what worked in 1955 today. This is true. This is true. But I just wanted to see your opinion on that, and I just I wanted to tell you I really love your show. You're you're really a smart man, and I hope you do help a lot of dumb guys out there. Okay. I hope so too. All right. Have a nice evening. Why? Thank you. Why was you in a crowd like that? Hello. I was riding here, not going anywhere. There's no reason for you to cry like that. Cheyenne, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello? Where are you calling from? Um, Tall, Texas. No, no. 
Are you calling from a shopping mall or a no, daycare I'm center? No, phone. What is all that noise in the background? Oh, it's my niece and nephew. And what's that sound? Sounds like, it sounds like a tea kettle. Sounds like a what? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? It sounds like jingle bells or a rattle or something. No, I'm outside. <laughs> it's just uh, my niece and nephew and my mother-in-law. Are you talking to him? Is it crickets? Are those cicadas? Yeah. yeah, it's crickets. All right, dear. Maybe you want to go inside the house. Okay. Because that's, that's going to drive me insane. Okay, that's no problem. Take the phone inside right now. Where are you, a bar? What is that noise? Huh? Oh, I'll turn the TV off. Hi. We just have a lot of people over here because we all I, live together. I see. Uh, what can I do for you, dare I ask? Is it the same person I've been talking to? Oh, did you want to talk to Tom? Well, I talked to someone else and I already told him. Something. Who did you want to talk to? Um, it don't matter. It doesn't matter? So it doesn't matter who you talk to? No. Well, why did you call if you don't care who you talk to? Well, I was just calling because um, to talk to some about my problems and everything. What is that noise in the background now? Hold on for a minute. Some phone's Jesus in here. Christ. Some phone's ringing in here. Hello? Yes. Yes, yeah, so I was just... Hold on for a minute. Thank you for waiting. Your patience Hello? is appreciated. Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear me? Unfortunately, I can. By the way, t- yeah, th- why is the radio on? Oh, my mother-in-law is listening to it outside. <laughs> well, she shouldn't be listening because we're on the air. Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering and talking about my boyfriend and um, how he's Wait a minute. Stop out. right there. Stop right there. How could you have a mother-in-law if you're not married? How do you have a mother-in-law if you have a boyfriend? Well, I've been with him and for so long, and it How seems long? like a mother-in-law to me. How long? About five years. So you've been with your boyfriend since you were 13? Huh? Yes. That's great. And so what is your question, darling? Yes, yeah, so I was just wondering what I can do. I mean, I try everything. Try to talk to him. He don't. He don't listen. He don't. About what? I mean, I mean, he does everything. I try to tell him we need some gas to save for money. He needs a job. He needs to do this. He needs to help me around the house. And he dear, just, he don't dear, listen. Dear, face facts. Okay? okay. If you got with your boyfriend when you, by the way, did I hear a child in the background? Whose kid is that? No, I'm in the house by myself. They're outside. Was the is there a child there? Well, the, uh, my niece and nephew's here in my baby, but they're outside. Your baby? Yes, my baby. How old is your baby? Ten months. Ten months. Now, did Dean tell me that you're also pregnant again? Yes. Right. Uh, let me ask you a question. I'm just curious. Okay. Okay. Uh, why are you pumping out babies? Are you just trailer trash, or what's the deal over there? No. Trash. Sure you are. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. With your boyfriend since 13. You live together no, with his mom together. and you and the baby. And, uh, what? So we knew each other. We, we didn't start going out until I was about 14. And then I got oh. pregnant. Since, huh? Why, why did you let that happen? Why did you get pregnant? Because I was on the patch, and the patch didn't work this time. Uh-huh. And then when I, I first got pregnant, it was just, it was, it was just there. No, no, it wasn't just there. You made it happen. Yeah. 
Why? But I'm not trailer trash. I take care of my kids. I get a Hey, 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 hey. You are trailer trash. Watch your mouth. We're on the air. Okay. You can talk that way in the trailer park, but you can't talk that way on the air. I don't air. live in a trailer park. Uh, you're, you're the next best thing. Out there with the trash. Pumping Why out babies. Why are you saying I'm living out here in the trash? Because that's how it sounds. Pumping out kids like this. What do you do no. for a living? Huh? What do you do for a living? I work for Jordan Healthcare. What do you do? I take care of um, elderly people that can't really do anything for themselves. Mm -hmm. And you're attending what college, dear? Um, I'm, I'm finishing high school right now. Oh, you're not even finished with high school yet. Why not? No, because when I got pregnant, um, wow, I was a what. junior, and then I there we go. And then I'm finally finished senior, and I'm almost done. And then, and then what college are you going to attend, dear? Um, uh, turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that off. Go away from that noise. I can't listen to that. Jesus uh, Christ. Hello? Yes. So uh, what college will you be attending? I wanted to go to Chinley Valley. I don't care what you wanted to do. I'm asking which one you're going to attend here. Probably Trinity Valley. You're go no, you just said you wanted to attend it, but are you going yeah. to? You're going yeah, to college? I, I can't say I'm going to because that's just going to be a lie if I don't. I mean, I want to. I have to work. Yeah, but how are you going to do that if you keep pumping out children? I can do it. I have people to take care of them for me and help Oh, that's very nice of you. That's very thoughtful of you to just dump your kids on other people. No. Responsibilities on others. That's great. I just said if you listen to the radio. That's it. Go ahead and prove it. That's good. Thanks, Grandma. This sounds like Mama's Family. Remember that show? Uh, so no, I've never seen that. <laughs> I bet you haven't. Anyway, ask your grandmother about it. I'm sure she has. Anyway, uh, all right, so you're going to keep pumping out children. No, but you I'm also gonna keep on. Why not? Come on, keep it going. 10, no. 15 kids, let's go. How many kids do you have? None. You have none? You, By, you have a girlfriend or a wife? Right now, no. By design, dear. Do you have a girlfriend or a wife? And you're I, talking I, about just answered, I just answered kids. your question. Huh? Hello? Are you stupid or deaf? Which is it? No, I'm just, you're not talking loud enough. Dear, I'm at a radio station with a microphone. How much louder can we make it? By the way, if you didn't have all that noise in the background, you'd hear everything I was saying. Well, there's no noise in here no more. I'm in the house. Well, I think you're just deaf. So anyway, no, so I'm darling. Not deaf. Yeah, right. So yeah, anyway, right, darling. I'm not. Right. So anyway, darling, uh, you're pumping out children. Why are you going to stop now? I don't know. How many dogs do you have over there? I hear a dog. We have two. Two dogs. Two chihuahuas. Two, two children coming soon. And how many other people's children are living in this house? No, nobody. It's just so, um, my brother-in-law has four children, and they're all grown up, and they live somewhere else. And she has her grandkids over here. I Probably see. just once a day a week. Mm -hmm. And um, that sounds wonderful. And uh, did you have a question? A question? Yeah, you called for a reason, if I recall. Yeah, I already asked you. I, I thought you was helping people out on their problems and everything. No, you and didn't talk to you. You didn't ask me anything. People more. You didn't ask me anything. You talked to the screener, you idiot. You didn't talk Listen. to me. Listen, uh, you yes, did I not did ask, ask me a question. You. I said, Is anything I can do, because my boyfriend don't really listen to me, I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm how having a hard time listening to you myself. Him. Huh? I don't know what to ask him or anything to help me out with the house. I already asked how, you. How that. old is your boyfriend? He's about to be 21. Uh -huh. Well, darling, uh, the fact is that you can't change people. And then, he, okay. He didn't, he's the one no. you chose to breed with, and so that's what you're stuck with now. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny you didn't
together, and then we started moving here, and he started acting different. Again, dear, uh, you can't change people. They only change themselves. Okay. So there's nothing you can do. Okay. Whose house are you living in? My mother-in-law's. Right. So you're living in your boy, your boyfriend's mother's house. Yes. What happened to your parents? Um, they they live in Canton. They didn't and, have that much room for us. Uh huh. And why aren't the two of you uh, responsible enough to have your own place to live? Because I'm still trying to get out of school, and it's hard for me to do everything. Well, that, whose fault is whose fault is that? No, it's every teenager's. Thing. No, Every no, it isn't. When they get no, out of high school, wrong. Just don't Every teenager the isn't pumping out children like a human Xerox machine. Listen, I know many teenagers that have babies, and they're all screwed. They're, 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 they're all screwed. They're all screwed. They're screwed. Those kids are screwed. They're screwed. Their lives are screwed, like yours is going to be. How are they screwed? They're screwed because they're they can't. Go to school. They're going to go to college. They're going to have everything oh, yeah. they yeah, want. Yeah, you'll go to college. I'll tell you what. I, if you go to college, I'll be whistling Dixie. You will not be going to college. I won't. Nope. Okay, I'll, I'll send you something saying I pass and everything. There you go okay. right ahead. You I go will. right ahead. What are you going to major in in college? Which, are, By the way, it's I community really college. Right now. Community college, which is like 13th grade. Uh, you haven't graduated high school yet. What do you know about college? What are you going to major in? I don't know yet. You don't even know what you want to be when you grow up because you're too busy raising and creating babies. Yes, every high school student don't know what. They e- every want high school when they grow that's up. not true, dude. I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up, and that's why I'm a. That's why I'm a multi-millionaire, and I make millions of dollars talking to little trailer trashers like you. I I got here by. Rich mom and dad. Nope. Nope. I, my, we were dirt poor. I, I didn't need money, dear. You know what I did? Okay, I worked. Pay for college. Dear, I worked my ass off, and I didn't have... Where'd you have, work at? Where'd you work at? I, if you will shut up for a moment, I will no, give you I'm all... No, I because I want to know where no, you work no, at. I, well, I'm going to put you on hold, and then I'm going to tell you what I have to say, you big mouth piece of trailer trash. I worked my ass off, and I didn't knock anybody up when I was in junior high school or high school. I went to school... I went broke going to college, and I had to drop out after two years, and so I had to work even harder. Rather than staying home with Mama and Eunice and the whole group over there, uh, I had to start going with work at small towns, radio stations, and build up my credibility. And I had to work my way up. And it was no making excuses. You know what? I didn't graduate high school, and I was practically 19. I graduated at 16 and got the hell out of there. But you, on the other hand, you're there with the group, the dogs, the babies, you know, you're, you're the, 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 all the noise and everything. And uh, all you've got time to do is keep getting knocked up. That's that's your future. She's still going. And the radio is turned up now. Could you turn the radio a little louder, please? I can't hear it. No, I need to take on my baby outside. She's with my mother-in-law. I you know, take care t- of my kids. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Doing a great job, too. Yeah, I am. Yeah, this is what they're growing up into. So uh, your baby's going to get knocked up at 13 and 14. That's no, fantastic. No, not. Why not? And if there is, I'm not going to say, oh, you're not my child no more. Yeah, so that, that's what they're going to do. Kids, I mean, they're going to do what you did. They're going to do what you did. They're going to do what you did. No, it's their opinion. Yes. If they want to do it, they can do it. Great. That's good. That's a good parent there. If they want to get knocked up, they can do it. Good work. Mom. Yeah. What am I about to do? Say no? Dude, well, you know, you yes. Know. Yes, you, you are. You know what? If somebody house. said no at your house, there'd be a lot less problems right now. What? Does your mom and dad hate you? You don't have to. By the way, that's not yeah, hating a kid. This is how Im, this is how immature you are. That that saying no to a child means you hate them. Saying no right. to a child means you I love them. My kids. You, you know what? Your IQ level is so low, you're very hard to talk to. No, you yes. just don't listen very good. Oh, no, I hear every word you're saying. I, that's why okay, I know That's why I know what kind of trailer you. trash where you are. you work at to get where you are? I told you where I worked. You weren't no, listening. No, you didn't. You hanged up. No, Where'd I didn't hang at? up. I hanged well, you up. put me on hold then. I hanged Where'd up. You work? Did I, I hanged up? Did you say I hanged up? 
Okay, you put me on hold. Whatever. Where'd you work at? I think it's I where wor- you are. Well, okay. If you must know, I worked at WTON Radio in Stanton, Virginia, and then I worked at WNWS Radio in Miami, Florida, and then I worked so at uh, KFYI Radio in Phoenix, work. Arizona. I worked at WRKO work. Radio in Boston. You wanted the answer. I'm giving you the answer. I worked at the Westwood One Radio work. Network. Huh? In high school, you didn't work? Yes, I worked in high school. You I worked at the Carvel market. Ice Cream Supermarket on Route 112 in Corum, New York. No, I worked at an ice cream store that called itself an ice cream supermarket. Carvel Ice Cream Supermarket. Okay, Super- right there. You was in high school. I'm still in high school. You passed it. Yeah, you're but still in high school because high you're school. staying in high school I'm until you're, you're 21. You're going you're gonna to be in high school when you reach the age of uh, majority. Huh? So I think I'm doing better than you when you was in high oh, school. Oh, yeah, you're doing Jordan great. Ice cream supermarket. I'm really, uh, I'm out of Jordan Healthcare, and I'm making good money. Oh, you're at Jordan Healthcare. Remember, remind me if I get sick or I don't want to go, Gary. No, it's not sick. Is this the these, level of employees they have there? My God. No, they can't do nothing for themselves, and I'm helping them. Who? They Jordan Healthcare? They can't oh, the do this stuff by themselves. Right, their selves. That's no, good. This way to your mom and I, dad I, I, what, what, what grade did you get in grammar, by the way? Liz, I'm tired of hearing your mouth. I don't um, live in a you trailer are. trash. I take care of my kids. Oh, please. It's so obvious you're trailer trash. In okay, fact, okay. Let, let's trash. ask some, okay, let's ask some of the other people. Oh, uh, you know what? Kids. Let's ask. T- hang on there. Let's ask some of the other people out there how you're trailer trashed here, and we'll see what they have to say, all right? So uh, hang on there. We're going to see how the, how the others think you're trailer trash. Are you ready? Yeah, let me see some high school students call and say, yeah, I've been pregnant, too. All right, let's find out here. Hang on a second. Yeah, um, yeah let's find out. Michael, uh, do you think she's trailer trash? Absolutely. Absolutely. How old is, how old is he? How old am I? No, Michael. Yeah, Where's he, is he working with you? I'm 19. You're not teen. Your mom and daddy's rich. No, they have some money not. to put you through. Absolutely not. They don't. I'm working my butt off, making forty grand a year, paying rent, making car payments, and paying for school myself. Thank you very much. Oh, good for you. That I am too. Really? No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. I'm paying for everything. How, how much? How much does that trailer cost every month? I don't live in a trailer. Thank you. I live in a house. Oh. I live in a brick house, thank you. Oh, Ooh, brick house. a brick I'll house. Yeah. Wow. With the dogs yapping and the babies crying and the phones ringing. And... Uh, that's life for you, mister. <laughs> you ain't going to go to every house and it's going to be quiet. No. Babies do cry. Yeah, dogs that... bark. Mm-hmm. You got to get can... used to it. Yes, you... yes. Breeders breed. You can prevent crying by not popping out babies when you're 14. I didn't pop it out when I was 14, thank you. My bad, 15. No, that's not 17. So you're just continuously pregnant now, is that right? Yeah, I'm pregnant right now. And you were pregnant uh, a year ago, right? Yes. Right, so you're just continuously pregnant. No, I was on the patch this time and it just didn't work. Right. Sounds great. Well, uh, th- Michael, thank you. Hang on there a second. Let's uh, continue here. Uh, let's see who else uh, thinks she's trailer trash. Uh, Matt, what do you think? Hello? Uh, oh, Matt, I'm sorry. You're the, we'll, we'll get back to you in a second. JT, uh, do you think she's trailer trash? What do you think? <laughs> JT? Absolutely. Oh, yes. Thank you for that, JT. Sandra, do you think she's trailer trash? Oh, my goodness, Tom, this young lady is driving me out of my absolute mind. Sweetie, why are you calling this woman your mother-in-law? She, you're, she's not your mother-in-law. You're not married to her son. Yeah, but she's like a mother-in-law to me. Well, you know, and your children are like children to you, but you're not treating them as though you're a mother. What on earth is going on here? Sweetie, get your tube tied after you have those babies because he is going to leave you. He, you know, he's got two grown-up, quote-unquote, women in that house, and he can't be anything but a child himself, and he's, he's just going to go playing around on you. Do not have any more kids with him. Get your life together. Where'd she go, Tom? That's what I am trying to do. Right. I already That's tried right. to tell him that I'm trying to get through high school and everything. 
Now, I'm listening to you talk, honey. There is not a sentence that comes out of your mouth that doesn't have a grammatical error. I mean, what is the definition of trailer trash except somebody who's 17 years old living in some other woman's house, popping out babies with someone she's not married to and hasn't even graduated from school? That is the definition. I do not think so. I don't think that's trailer trash. What what is trailer trash? Who would be trailer, trailer trash? Trailer trash is me. It's a pun. Yeah, that's enough. Me. That's enough. That's enough. You and your filthy mouth. You are definitely trailer trash. Tom. Tom, Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. My girlfriend's a habitual listener. She loves your show. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wonder if she's starting to get a little worried about me listening to you as well. Why is that? You know the stuff that you teach. She says all the guys that listen to your stuff are ass. Yes, we are. Thank you. It's Like His 101 on the Tom Like His Show. The Tom Like His Show, Like His 101. Now, you may forget we had Matt on the line, and Matt said, oh, yeah, he can... Uh, he can go anywhere he wants, doesn't have to ask mommy for permission. Right, Matt? That's true. All right, let's get... That's absolutely true, Tom. All right, well, uh, let's get mommy on the phone here. And uh, are you there, Matt? Hello? You there, Matt? Okay, hang on. Let me get uh, Kanoka on the line here. Are you there, Kanoka? Come on, Kanoka. Kanoka, are you there? Hello? There we go. There you are. There she Kanoka, is. Kanoka, you're on the radio. Do you know that? Uh, that's what I hear. Okay. <laughs> and you're talking to Matt and, and to me. All right. This is Tom Likas. I don't think she knows who you are. I don't. All right. Well, I'm a radio guy. He's a genius, though, and he's, and he's, and he's a really good at what he does, so. So I understand that Matt is going to, is it Europe, Matt? Yep, Europe, backpacking. Really? Yep, this uh, is new did, to her, though. Kanoka, did you know he's going to Europe? No, I did not. How do you feel about that? Um, <laughs> when's he going? Does it matter? Think, thinking about this summer. Oh, that's right, does it matter? Oh, really? Yeah, he said he doesn't even have to ask you. He could just do these things whenever he wants. Is that true? Um, well, you know, I do like to have some heads up, but uh, for the most part, I think that... For the most uh, part? Yeah, for the most part, I think to have a healthy relationship, well, what, you kind of got to let... Well, he told, me it's not, to. he told me it's not... Ne- uh, do you think it's necessary to let him do what he needs to? Do, I think it's necessary to do what he needs to, yes. But does that mean that he doesn't have to let you know? He just He could just do it? He doesn't have to ask permission? Yes, if I need to. Uh, not, I wouldn't call it permission, but I think it's out of uh, respect. He could let me know what his plans are so that we can plan. Yeah, would you? Would you prefer he ask you if you mind? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go there. I just <laughs> why not? No, I want to go there. <laughs> this is where he goes. This is where he lives. This is where I go because you know what? I don't. I think you're going to a different place than Matt's going, and uh, among those, he's going to Europe, and you're not. By the way, did you know you're not going to Europe? <laughs> I've already traveled a lot, so I think that it would be good so, for Matt to go to Europe. All right, so he's going without you. And he made the plan, and he, has, he hasn't even told you about it until now. But but the reality is you would like him to say, Honey, do you mind if I go with the guys to Europe? You don't want him coming in and telling you that, do you? Um. You know, I, I do prefer that he tells me. I mean, Matt has a habit of doing that. He likes to kind of do things spur of the moment, and I'm more of a planner. I like to plan things out. So he does have a habit of just kind of telling me, coming in and telling me that he's going to do something. But for the most part, you got to establish those ground rules. Huh? So, you, so you're okay with that? Um, I'm okay to it with it to an certain extent. I'm a daughter, so um, I think a little bit more planning is required at this point. But yeah, I try to. We try well, to get each other. He's going regardless of whether it's convenient for you or not. Um, well, I would have to, and I would have to make him make up for it when he gets back. He could take her for a couple of weeks, and I can go to Europe. <laughs> uh-huh. 
<laughs> I probably have to buy a lot of massages, a lot of those time massages. Right, and, and by the way, Matt, uh, you're not planning on seeing any other women while you're in Europe, are you? Uh, a couple. I don't know. I haven't picked them out yet, but I, I, I go online a lot to that MySpace they got now. Find some, find some overseas women. Oh, so, Kanoka, how, how do you character feel about the, the father of your child is going to go to Europe and meet other chicks? You're good with that? You know what? Um, Matt's threatened to do that several times, and so far, he, I don't know if he's found anybody that he really likes, but I, you know, I, I think you can tell somebody that they have to stay with you, and then they're miserable for the rest of their life. So if he wants to be with me, I think that that's good, and if he feels like he needs to be with someone else, if it starts to be a problem, I would tell no, him. No, no, he wants, to be, be, he wants to be with you, but he wants to go be with other women sometimes, too. That's cool oh. with you, right? Um, to a certain extent. To, to a certain extent, well, it, either, it is or it isn't. With, with my with my family life, and oh well, and, no. When he's in Europe, he'll bang other chicks. When he's in Europe, it, it won't be any inconvenience to you. You'll be busy babysitting, and he'll be banging other chicks, and that's okay with you to keep a healthy relationship, right? I don't know. Let me think about this for a second. I mean, remember, everything's equal. Oh, Matt, she has to think about it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't sound like a yes to me. Tom like this. Tom. Like is eight hundred eight hundred Tom Tom I think you're a misogynist. A what? A misogynist. A misogynist. What is that? That's a person that doesn't like women. A misogynist. M I S. Well, I don't want to spell it. Let me tell you what I called you. Can you spell it? Yes, I can. Really? Go ahead. Uh, M M Y S G O N I S T I C. Misogynist. Yeah. The Tom Likey Show. From London, England, at one eight hundred five 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 eight. You know, I got to tell you what happened there. I saw the next call. You, you have to hear the next call. Yeah, I have to hear the. I, forget the number. This is Josh, sixteen-year-old Josh on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes, uh, my sister called in a while ago, and she is not trailer trash. Really? Really. How would you know? Because I know. Because she's well, my sister. But my point is, if, if she is, so are you. No. Uh. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, because you know what? In homes that are not trailer trash, people get educations. They, they don't get knocked up as teenagers. So? Right. That's that's what trailer trash is. That's what your family is. That's what no. you are. Yes. No. You could say no all you like. Uh, the, the the verdict is against you. You heard all the other people calling in. Well, she ain't not trailer trash, so she ain't not trailer trash. She is not trailer trash. She ain't is. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. Oh yeah. No. Y yes, she is. You can say whatever you want. I already did. Well, I just did too, so. But, but most everybody agrees with me and disagrees with you because well, they believe that you're trailer trash too. But you only hear the people that calls in. Believe me, they, you know, I only hear the people that calls in. Yep. Well, now let's, let's talk to the people that calls, calls it in here. Let's, uh, let's see what they think. Josh, uh, Michael, have you heard Josh's family on the air here? What do you think? I'm totally with Tom. She, uh, she ain't is, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, that's a good response there, Josh. Very nice. Uh, JT, uh, what do you think? Have you been uh, listening to uh, to Josh's family here on the air? Inbred, Tom. Inbred. It's got to be. All that damn inbreeding. We are not inbred. Come on, buddy. Be real with us for a minute. Come on, buddy. You're not kidding anybody. You're not fooling anybody. Come on now. Nope. Uh, I think we have our answer there, Josh. Sorry, but y'all are wrong. Yeah, yeah, y'all are wrong. That's right. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.